So now we're moving into halogenations of alkanes. So let's review a little bit. We learned in, in a previous unit that you can use chloride, chlorine, excuse me, and UV light, and you can get chlorination. We can also use bromine, and you can also get bromination. So halogens, oops, halogens and UV light can give us halination. So bromination or chlorination, for example. There we are. Now, chlorination is not selective. So you can get numerous products when working with chlorine. Uh, it's just not very selective because chlorine is much more reactive. Uh, bromine, on the other hand, is very selective. So it will always give you, the, the major product will always be the halogen on the, the carbon you would expect, the carbon that would, be, that would give you the most stable reactive intermediate. Now, if this is all not familiar to you, Go back to the previous unit where we discussed radical reactions and review it there. It's important that you understand how radical reactions work. Now we've discussed previously in this unit, we've discussed alkyl halides, vinyl halides, aryl halides. There's something called allylic halides too. And allylic halides, for example, they don't have to be in rings, but this is just for example, or something like that. That's an allylic halide. Now, this carbon right here and this carbon right here, because of the fact they're adjacent to an alkene, so this carbon and this carbon are both adjacent to this alkene, they're known as the allylic positions. The allylic position is the, is the carbon directly beside an alkene. So here, there's the alkene. This is allylic. This is allylic. So the allylic position is special because it can be because the reactive intermediate that's formed there can be resonance stabilized. So adding a bromine or a chlorine or something to the allylic position is actually somewhat favored. So let's see the reaction that would cause that. Starting with cyclohexene plus bromine, the presence of UV light will give you bromination at the allylic position, and a pretty good yield, 80% 80, 80 or so uh, yield. So that's really, really good. So that's the reaction. Let's see the mechanism. So we start the reaction with bromine, and then UV light. And the first thing that happens is, of course, homolytic cleavage to form the bromine radicals, bromine free radicals. And that will attack our allylic hydrogens. There's four of them, but I'm only going to draw on these two. Okay. So the bond formation between bromine and hydrogen occurs and it forms a radical at this position. So let me maybe change colors of that arrow to make it more obvious what's going on. There we go. A little more obvious where the electron's going, I think. So now, that's going to form HBr. So HBr is going to be a product. We're not really concerned about HBr. We're more concerned with the radical, or the uh, reactive intermediate, the free carbon radical. So there's an allylic free radical. Now the nice thing about allylic free radicals is they can resonate. Now in this particular example both resonance forms are equal because you essentially get the same resonance forms, the same molecule 
here and here. So these resonance forms are 100% equivalent. So that tells me that the radical will be on this carbon, 50%, and the radical will be on that carbon, 50%. So these radicals are, are highly stabilized, highly stabilized. Okay, so let's work from this one. So a bromine molecule happens around. Collision occurs. You get bromination of the allylic position of, this, of the uh, cyclohexene. plus bromine radical, which can go off and find some more. So this radical can go find some more of this cyclohexene over here and start the whole process again. So this is indeed a chain reaction. Now, don't, don't let this fool you that I turn the molecule a little bit. Uh, this is equivalent to the product that was on the previous slide. So I could have drawn the product like this, right? Just so that everyone's on the same page and not confused. Let me just redraw it. These two are equivalent. I just simply just turned this one that way a little bit. Or actually, no, I would have flipped it this way. So these two things are equivalent. I just drew it differently. Don't let that phase you. 